the economy itself is not always a sufficient clue, you know, to keep the European, uh, to keep Europe together, you know, then we would not have had a Brexit, for example. Um, but if it's not the money and economies, what does work as a good glue for Europe and keep, can keep uh, the European countries together? I totally agree with you. Uh, first, I think it's history and culture. And when you, when, when you look at our own history and how the European Union was made and where, why we decided to do so, it's after the Second World War, big drama. I mean, we almost killed ourselves because of, uh, during the Second World War. And I think this generation, the generation of our founding fathers, had, I take your own formula, but this glue, which was never ever. I don't want to see that again. And they were sure that we had something to do together because our humanism, our very special relationship with freedom and at the same time our social model, which is quite unique balance, was something they wanted to preserve. And they decided to put together steel and coal, what we needed to fight against each other during the, the past decade. So they said, in order to be sure, let's merge on that. And, and economy and industry was, was not the purpose and the actual glue. It was just a tool because we wanted to be sure of that. So I would say the first answer is about history, culture, feelings, emotions. The second is about, pol I mean, precisely politics, controversies, permanent discussions, because we have this culture and this, uh, this common history. And this is for me, by nature, I consider it as more important than economy. But I think we are entering in, in these times where geopolitics precisely will prob probably frame and decide on geoeconomics. This is a very new moment. And beyond that, and this is what makes us common, our values. 